Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and for today we will be featuring this Ichiveria Haggai Tulimanensis and isa siya sa mga succulents na unique ang kanyang color kasi depending on the angle, yung color ng kanyang leaves would be in the shade of dark blue to sometimes purplish yung color niya. So yung leaves niya rin is very thick as you can see then yung growth niya is upright or pataas. Kung mapapansin nyo din meron siyang thin layer of farina. Yan yung parang white powdery coating sa kanyang pinaka leaves and that's very important kasi it protects yung ating succulent from getting sunburned. In terms of it like requirements, dapat ilagay natin siya sa isang area na nakaka-receive talaga ng full sunlight. In my case, it's receiving an all day long sun exposure. And since I have mentioned earlier nga na may farina siya, it's okay na naka full sunlight siya kasi meron naman siyang protective layer. Kaya as much as possible, we should avoid touching or removing itong white powder coating sa kanyang pinaka leaves. In any case, you have plans of growing this one indoors. Dapat mag-provide tayo ng grow lights para at least kahit papano nakareceive talaga siya ng sufficient light. Kasi if not, then definitely magi ethiolate siya or magiging leggy siya. And at the same time, we cannot achieve yung ganitong color. When watering this succulent, it's important na dapat control lang yung pagwater natin sa kanya as we are trying to avoid yung overwatering. So you can apply it directly sa kanyang potting mix or sa soil or pwede nyo rin namang i-direct yung pagdidilig ninyo sa kanyang pinaka leaves. And actually, I really like doing this one na directly sa kanyang pinaka leaves kasi most of the time nagko-collect talaga ng dust dito nga sa kanyang pinaka leaves especially if you are someone like me na parang once a month lang magdilig talagang nagkakaroon or nagko-collect ng dust yung kanyang pinaka leaves kaya we have to remove it by watering it directly nga sa kanyang leaves Kasi if yung dust nag-collect sa kanyang pinaka leaves, definitely it would block the sunlight which is now needed for the photosynthesis. Propagating the succulent is also very simple and as you can see, here I have four new offsets sa baba. So itong malaking ito is actually the mother plant and that's the only Hagai Tolimanensis that I have before. But right now, we've got four new offsets here. And these are about 6 months old, I guess, yung mga offsets na yan. We can actually start separating yung mga offsets na nandyan sa baba. But I'm thinking of not doing it kasi I wanted na itong 4 na offsets na yan would stay there and eventually grow. So I won't also be cutting itong pinaka mother plant. But instead, I'm just gonna be propagating it through leaves so i think i'll just get a leaf from the offset so removing the leaf from its stem is very simple lang then nagawin we just have to be gentle and that's it we can immediately put this in our potting mix and just wait for several weeks until it starts to root and produce a new offset. So I have here an example of a leaf propagation. Nilagay ko nga siya dito sa pot na ito. And this is how it looks like after several months. Ayan. So I will just be leaving itong propagation na to dito and won't be repotting it. So bahala na siyang lumaki dito sa pot na ito. Ayan siya. In terms of the potting mix that I've used, so I'm using an organic potting mix which is yung Alnos Compose and some pumice stones. Naglagay din ako dito ng ipa ng bigas. And if I can remember, parang more than one year na ding nakatanim itong succulent na to in this potting mix. And it's really advisable na every two years, we will be... Kumbaga, uprooting it and changing yung kanyang soil para naman ma-replenish yung nutrients na needed ng ating succulent. So, sa ngayon, I won't be repotting or changing its potting mix yet. Hintay lang natin na lumaki muna itong ating mga offsets here before we eventually change 
and repot the succulent. And lastly, I have to say na sobrang daling i-maintain nitong succulent na to. And I never had any problem in terms of fungus sa kanya. But syempre, I do a regular na application ng systemic fungicide. So, I do it twice a year. So, probably that really helps para hindi siya magkaroon ng fungus. And syempre, I also apply an insecticide from time to time kasi we are trying to avoid some pest infestation so that's all for today thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel you may also visit our facebook page a desert succulent ph